forefathers ain't worship no rocks, man. Our fathers, forefathers ain't going across the earth to go kiss a kiss a rock, man. It just ain't happening. It's a bunch of rocks down here right now. I ain't kissing not damn one of them. If you really like rocks, man, it's a whole bunch right there, bro. All nations, including Ishmael, are but a drop of a vessel. So the Lord got a big old bucket of water. And he says, all the nations, take them, put them all together, and they just a pluck of water out of that bucket. Including Ishmael, including Islam, which is a curse to our people. Right. Let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. So what I want everybody to understand is, give me one second, brother. Let me finish this point. I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose this point. The Lord chose Abraham. He had a covenant with Abraham. Abraham had two sons. The first son, Ishmael, got a promise. Anybody find that promise yet? Nobody? Yeah. All right. He promised that he would be a great nation. That's it. I think it's That's 17 it. and 20. And after that, he had another son named Isaac. Isaac is who the covenant was established with. Isaac had a son named Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. This is who received the benefits of that covenant, the people that you see on this sign right here. Right. But because those people broke God's commandments, they went into a curse. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Start at verse 1. Say it again. The Israelites broke all of God's commandments. They shaved their beard. They stopped keeping God's Sabbath. The women put on pants. The men put on dresses. We started eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. We started celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's on January 1st. We discontinued from everything that the Lord gave us, and we took what the white man gave us, our enemy, our oppressor, the son of Satan himself. Right. And that's why we got cursed as a people. Right. We, do that in Africa. we did that in Africa. We're doing it here in America, and we're going we're gonna to keep doing it until we repent out of our sins. Right. That's when Christ will return and save us from our sins. That's right. Christmas in Africa. We've been celebrating Christmas since the time of Babylon. That custom goes back before the time of Christ. Right. We'll go into that in a minute. <clears throat> We're gonna go over the basic general thought and then we can address the, the specifics. The specifics for everybody. Right, let's make this quick. Gotcha. We don't wanna spend too much time on Ishmael. Yeah, when you get through, I only, I only have one question. So I'm patient though. Okay, good, 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 good. Don't forget your question. Everybody remember your questions. Just don't let me, don't let me lose my train of thought. All right. So this is Genesis chapter 17 verse 20. And as for Ishmael, this is the promise that was given to Ishmael, read. I have heard thee, behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget and I will make him a great nation. Verse 21, but my covenant will I establish with Isaac. But what? But my covenant will I establish with Isaac. Isaac. That's right. Joshua 6. I need all of y'all to repeat this. Read that last part again. Verse 21. But my covenant, but my covenant, covenant will I establish, will I establish with, Isaac. with Isaac. And the children of Isaac and Jacob are the Israelites. That's right. That's right. Who are we? The Israelites. Who are we? The Israelites. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, and child are the Israelites, That's according right. to the Bible. That's right. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. I still need you to understand how we got to celebrating uh, Christianity, worshiping Christianity, white man Jesus. How we got to worshiping Arab man, Muslim, and Muhammad. How we got to that. We broke God's commandments. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not, Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this goes into my brother's question. You said, what commandments did we break? We made an agreement with the Lord, the father of spirits, the father of the ancient of days. He said that he would choose us as his special people. And we said that we would keep his commandments. Why? Because that's what he chose to do. His ways are above our ways. He, the Bible said he didn't choose us. He chose us because he loved us. That's, that's what the Bible says. Everybody. No, God doesn't love everybody. That's a white man Jesus. Right. Right. I'm about to show you that that's a lie that was given to you from your oppressor. Yeah. Why? Why would he love every creation? Because he, be, because he created things for specific purposes. Everything wasn't created for him to love. We're going we're gonna to answer that. We're going to answer that. Hold on to that. Hold your peace. We're going to finish this about how we got into these false doctrines and these false religions. And we'll answer about God not loving everybody. Okay? I promise you all that. We will answer that. Finish that up on verse 15. To observe, to do all his commandments. So if the Israelites did not observe to do all of God's commandments, what would happen? 
and the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. This was the agreement. We understood this agreement. He said that these curses would come upon us if we broke the commandments. Let me show you one of the curses. Deuteronomy 28, 64. Read. Verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. One of the curses is that we would get scattered among all the people. We're originally from where? We're, we're from the most northern, north, what's that? Northeastern region of Africa that they don't even consider it to be Africa anymore. That's right. You know what they consider it to be? Middle East. The Middle East. It's not. Is there is there a continent called Middle East? No, it's, it's Africa. Sister, is there a continent called Middle East? Brother, is there a continent called Middle East? So where's the Middle East located? Africa. Africa. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are from Africa, but we're not from what we see today as Africa. We're from a land called Jerusalem. That's, that's and, right. and heathens are inhabiting our land and they've stolen our culture and we must take it back. Right. Right. Read that again. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. Now what's going to happen when we get scattered from Jerusalem to different parts of Africa, to different parts of Europe, to different parts of Asia, to North, Central, and South America? What's going to happen when we get there? Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. When we got scattered, we started serving other gods that our forefathers didn't know nothing about. Right. Our forefathers didn't worship a god that had anything to do with a Bible called a Quran or a man named Muhammad. That's not our heritage. Because that comes later. The Look curse. later revelation. No, there is no later. This okay. is the revelation. Well, the, Re the, the, Re the, 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 the I'm going to show you revelation. Give me revelation down. chapter 1, verse 1. This is the later revelation no, right no, here. Actually right. The Quran revelation chapter there. 1, verse 1. Bring it out. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation. The what? The revelation. This is the revelation. Right. Chapter 21, verse 12. This is the later revelation. But, but the Quran, it comes from a later date. No. The Quran comes from a man, from a nation that God doesn't give a damn about. Right, right. That's right. It is a later date, right? No, no. no, no. It, it, that's, that's before the Quran, chronologically, in year by The year. Bible comes before the Quran, absolutely. That's it. The Quran is a lie, absolutely. You feel right. Right. Revelation right. chapter 21, Bring verse 12. This is the later revelation of our people, of our forefathers, not our slave masters that we went into the sub-Saharan slave trade for. Not our slave masters that we went into the transatlantic slave trade for. Right. Read this. The book of Revelations, chapter 21, verse 12. Uh -huh. and, he, and had a wall great and high. So the later revelation of our people for our kingdom that we're trying to establish right now while our brothers and sisters are still in the curse. The later revelation of our kingdom is what? And had a wall great and high. Read. And had 12 gates. And the gates, 12 angels. And names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. The later revelation didn't say the twelve tribes of the twelve sons of Ishmael. The twelve sons of Israel. Yeah. My brother. Bring it out. You follow me? Yeah, I'm following you. They both had twelve sons. Jacob had twelve sons. Ishmael had twelve sons. Who gets the cut? Give me Romans 9. Romans 9 and 3. Romans 9 and 3. The kingdom of heaven has 12 gates for the 12 tribes of the Israelites, not the Ishmaelites. Right, right. The Ishmaelites are a curse. The white man is a curse. Church on Sunday is a curse. That's right. Friday during the day, Ramadan, all of that garbage is a curse. That's right. right. I, true. I'll take the Quran, man, and I, I'll wipe my hind pots with it. That's right. That's, right. That's how much right. garbage it is. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 3. Matter of fact, I might start a fire after the Sabbath, man. I need some kindling. Somebody tear me up a Quran and bring it to me. Read. Right. Right. For I could wish that myself were a curse from... What, what does it mean to be a curse? To be a Muslim. To be what? To be a Christian, according to white man Jesus in church on Sunday morning. Read. From Christ, for my brethren, uh -huh. my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Read. Who are Israelites? The, the Bible is all about the Israelites. Genesis tells you Israel.
Revelation tells you Israel. Romans 12 tells you Israel. Right. The Bible is all about the Israelites. Right. The Quran is some garbage you need to throw away, my brother. Right. Right. We came off the same slave ship together. Why are you worshiping one God and I'm worshiping a different? That's right. Why my God look like me and yours look like the, the corner store man? Right. Right. Well, people came as Muslims. Nah, brother. Yeah. Nah. Thanks, nah, man. Nah. Who gave us that? Thanks. Who gave us that book? We're gonna read it. Right. Who pertaineth the adoption? The adoption is for the Israelites. And the glory. The glory is for the Israelites. Right. And the covenants. <laughs> the covenants are for the Israelites. Right. And the giving of the law. The laws of God were given to the Israelites. That's right. Read. And the service of God. The, the, the Muslims ain't never served no God. They served the sun, moon, and the stars, man. A, a rock came down and, and a rock that God kicked off the bottom of his boot landed in the middle of the Middle East and they worship that. Go kiss it once a year. Right. That's some garbage, man. I ain't trying to hit nothing but that. Right. 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 And the promises. Whose are the fathers? The fathers are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not right. Abraham, Hagar, and Ishmael. Read. And of who? As concerning the flesh, Christ came. Christ came for the Israelites. Give me Deuteronomy 32. Bring 32 and 17. Out. And then give me that, what's that Jeremiah, the stock, uh, let's say into the stock, Jeremiah uh, 227. Yeah, let's go to those. We destroying all, all these doo-doo doctrines, man. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 17. They sacrifice unto devils. The Bible says all these other doctrines are doctrines of devils, man. Right. Muhammad, his, bro, do, do you know that the, that the Arabs, they used to be polytheistic? Um, Who knows what, what, what polytheistic means? Many gods. The, the, the Arabs used to have a god for every day of the year. 360 different gods. But you know what Muhammad did? He saw the glory of the Israelites. Of his distant cousins, because yeah, we family. But they not, they, not, they not in on this party. He saw the glory of the Israelites. And you know what he did? He traveled from his homeland. And came all the way over. He galloped on his little camel came all the way over to Israel. And you know what he saw there? He saw sisters in fringes and dresses. He saw hair wraps. He saw uh, uh, a Sabbath day. He said, you know what? He said, dang, you know what? I come from that same forefather too. I'm going to take that heritage and bring it back to my people. But you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say an angel gave it to me. I'm going to call that book the recitation because I'm really just copying a covenant that wasn't given to me. Right. And that's how... Uh, Islam got established as a monotheistic religion for the Arabs. We learned that in the sub-Saharan slave trade. And after that, we became the Moors. We came to America, we were a nation of Islam. Like I said earlier, 5% Dutch. All of that, that's how we got here to today, 2019, to being Arabs. We followed a curse. You got that? Uh, you finished that up? They sacrifice unto devils, uh -huh. not to God. To gods whom they knew not. Uh -huh. To new gods. New gods. Our forefathers ain't worship no rocks, man. Our fathers, forefathers ain't going across the earth to go kiss a, kiss a rock, man. It just ain't happening. It's a bunch of rocks down here right now. I ain't kissing not damn one of them. If you really like rocks, man, there's a whole bunch right there, bro. Keep reading. That came newly up whom your fathers feared not. Our forefathers ain't never feared no Allah. They ain't fed, they, we didn't show no respect toward Muhammad. Right. We ain't show no respect for no book called the Quran. We only honored the, the writings, the prophecies of our forefathers. Yes, right. Right. right? So give me first, Pete. You got something else for me? All right, finish it up. Of the rock that begat thee, thou art unmindful and hast forgotten God that formed thee. The real rock is Christ, and it tells us that in Corinthians 11. Give me verse 32. Uh, the brother said read verse 32. 37. All right, check that out. Verse 37. And he shall say, where are their gods? Where's the, where's the Arab man's God? Their rock in whom they trusted. Their gods, they trusted in a rock. Our people ain't trusting no rock. Our people trusted in the forefather of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. He's called the Most High. He's called Yahweh. He's called uh, the Almighty God. 
That's who we trust. The ancient of days. That's who we trust in. That's and guess what? He looks just like us, bro. Right. That hair that you got on your head is, is the same hair of the God of this Bible. Show him that. Right, and right. Dan, was that Daniel 7? It's Daniel 7 and 9. We're going to show you your heritage that you discontinue from. We want you, brother, we're telling you these things because we want you to return back to it. That's we want you back over here on this side. That's right. Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. Uh -huh. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. Why is he the ancient of days? Because he's created, he, he's the creator. He was there before time. He created time. He doesn't exist in time. That's why he's the same yesterday, today, and, to, and forever. Because there is no today with him. Everything is right now. Your past is right now. Your present is right now. Your future is right now. He created you. And guess what he looked like? Read. Whose garment was white as snow. Yeah, the most high exists in the spiritual realm. He has a spiritual body. Read. And the hair of his head. The most high God has hair on his head. Which one of these signs would the most high God's hair look like? Long and stringy, stringy like the, the neighborhood white man? That you honor as God, that you call Superman, Spider-Man, Thor man, Iron Man, whatever man. No, no, he don't look like that. How does he look? And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Like the pure what? Wool. The most high God, the creator of the universe, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not the God of Ishmael, has hair like yours. That's right. And you discontinue from him for a curse. Repent, my brother. Return back to your heritage, God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. You ready for my question? Or what, wait. What's your question? All right, one question. All right, Prophet Adam, right? Like Adam, the first man. Yeah. Come, comes to earth. Um, does he pray? Yeah, he communed with God in the garden daily. Okay, but what about like in in all of, that I've heard about like Hebrew um, religion and stuff like that, the three contact prayers that are made a day where you bow down at a certain time, like, and you put your head on the ground and, it, and it's recited, like, like, is that a legitimate thing? Praying three you times a day? In that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the prophet Daniel prayed three times a day when he was so, in Babylon. So, so if I was to convert and show up today, who, not in English, not in the white man's language, not in the European language, who here can lead me in the Hebrew prayer and teach me the right way to make prayer and the times None of us. and the schedule. None of us. I'm going to show you why, Isaiah 28. So you you, you want to repent and be an Israelite and you're trying to figure out how to pray? Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to pray. Are you, are you trying to repent to your life as an Israelite, your true heritage, and learn how to pray? Uh, I would like to learn how to pray. Nah, man. You, you out here playing with me. I ain't playing so, with so, you, bro. So, so, so you won't teach I'm gonna men how to pray? I'll teach men how to pray that want to pray according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. I think we all see the truth here. Nah, nah, nah. nah. You, 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 know? you, you still do following you know? a curse, my brother. Well, show me the proper way to pray. I'll show you the proper way to pray. But if you're still praying to Allah, still no, reading no, the Quran, no, 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 it ain't going to do you no I'm, good. I'm sure you're if you're still in the midst of your sins, look, you you repenting from your sins is more important than how you pray. Right. We read a scripture right. earlier. Hold that. Give me that second like, no, reading. You know Somebody pray, else can read John chapter nine like, verse like, thirty-one like, again. Don't, me, don't pray. Or show me how to do nah, it, bro. Nah, nah, my brother. Nah, you, nah, you, you stay where you at. Your brother how to pray. You stay where you at. Go ahead, read now. Psalms chapter I, I, nineteen I, I, I verse three. Community, I support y'all. Hey, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Read that Psalms nineteen to three. Because we, we're talking about prayer, we're talking about language, but we need to be talking about your sins, my no, brother. Like, like, You're in the midst of sin right now. You need to repent. Like, right. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 3. Uh -huh. There is no speech. No what? No speech. Read. Nor language. Nor language. Where their voice is not heard. That's right. That's right. Who's their voice? The voice of the prophets, the voice of the men that you're looking at right here. Right. Let me ask you a question. Who created all these languages? Who created all these languages? Like, Go to Genesis 10. That, that's a whole linguistics thing. Like, you know, it, it comes from God and it splinters off. It's like God's language. Is God like, created all the languages, brother. It don't matter which one you speak. They all come from him. That's not true, though. Let me, let me help you understand. Let me help you understand. Before there were all these languages, there was one language. You know, you want... Now, hold, hold on, my brother. Now, let me teach. Let me teach. I, I, I'll give you. I'll teach. Let me teach. I'm teaching right here. There was one language. It was Hebrew. The original Hebrew that we don't know anymore. But the Lord wasn't pleased with things that were happening on the earth. I'm going to read you the story real quick. Hebrew. Hold up. Hold up, brother. No, no. We don't know the original Hebrew. Now, our tongue has been defiled. You got that? Genesis yes, 11 and 1. The book of Genesis, chapter 11, verse 1. I need you to understand that the words I'm speaking to you are not my words. Read. And the whole earth. The what? The whole earth. Was what? Was of one language. One what? One 
language. That language was Hebrew. But you don't speak it. Right. And you don't have the scripture. Give me a, you, you're not following. You, you got to be patient, that, my brother. Like that, that's my only we got we to be patient. Now jump down do the, to verse 6 and 7. Then you, then so, you lose the message. Verse 6. You and the Lord said, don't lose the message. Yo! No, you don't lose the message. The Bible says you get the understanding. I, I know we have things. Hold up, hold up, brother. You get the understanding precept upon precept, not language upon language. The language does not matter. Take a version of a translation. Check it out. Translation of a translation. Check this out. And expect it to be true. The Lord ordained the translation, my brother. The Lord is more powerful than you. The Lord is more powerful than you. Check this out. Verse 6. And the Lord said, Yo, the people is one. The people is one of what? One language, one mind, one speech, read. And they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, uh -huh. which they have imagined to do. The people on the earth were evil and they all spoke one language. This is what the Lord did. He sent the angels to do what? Go to, let us go down and there confound their language. The languages were confounded by the Most High God. That's right. It don't matter what language we speak. We all speaking from the Most High God. Right on, right? As long as we speak in the words of this Bible, we good. Right, Give me right. Acts chapter 2. You got that in, in uh, Isaiah 28? All right. Check this out. This is how you understand the Bible. Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 9. Read. Who shall he teach knowledge? Who's going to get the knowledge of this book? Who's going to get the knowledge of the Most High God? Let's see if the Bible says you're going to get it through the pure Hebrew. Let's see if that's what the Bible says. Read. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Who's going to understand the doctrine of this Bible? Do I need the original pure Hebrew to understand the doctrine of this Bible? Yes. No. You don't? Read. Them that are we from the milk. If you got the original Hebrew, that's fine. But the Bible says if you don't repent back to being a baby, to being a child, you won't get to understand it. You'll have all the deep rhetoric. Well, we don't give a God don't give a damn about your rhetoric, bro. That's right. He's judging your actions. That's right. Not your words. Somebody give me that. First Samuel 2. Yeah. Hold, hold that in Acts. No, you, you stay where you at. Give me first Samuel 2. Read. Them that are we from the milk and drawn from the breast. That means you gotta repent, bro. You got to say, damn, I don't know it all. I've been taught by a bunch of different people that aren't following the true heritage of this book. Let me start over again. That's how you get the understanding. Read. Right, right. God, God don't honor a proud man. You full of pride, bro. Read. Right. For a precept must be a prime precept. A precept is a law, a principle, a statute, a commandment. So I understand one principle in the Bible by going to another one. Right. So I understand what Jeremiah is talking about when I see what Christ explained about it. Right. I understand what Moses said when I see that Christ fulfilled it. Right. And I see that the John the Revelator gave me some more understanding of it. That's, right. That's how I get the understanding. The language don't matter. I could be reading Chinese right now. The precepts are the same. That's right. I could be reading uh, Swahili. It don't matter. God created all these languages. And if he wants me to have an understanding of the Bible, he's going to give me the precepts to understand. Keep That's reading. Right. Precept upon precept. Read. Line upon line. Uh -huh. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. Uh -huh. For with stammering lips. You know what stammering lips are? Read. And another tongue. And another language. With stammering lips and another language, what? Will he speak to this people? The most, high, the most high God is speaking to you in English. You know what your first language was? English. He's showing you mercy. Imagine me coming up here speaking in the pure Hebrew. You ain't never took a Hebrew class. What edification is that going to give you? Bring it out. Paul right. taught us about that in Corinthians. Right. You got to have a translator if you're going to do that. Bring it out. Paul? Yeah, brother. Right. I'm done, brother. Yeah, you laughing at Paul, one of your own brothers, but you follow the Arab Paul, man that Paul sells you food brother. that's going to destroy Paul, your body. Paul, Bring it out. Huh? Give me this. You worried about your words and your language. This is what the Most High God say. Now, don't, don't run now. Oh, you want to have side conversations now, man. This is how the wicked brothers do, man. That's right. This is how the cursed brothers do. We try to pull our brothers out of curse. He try to stay in it. Read. Bring it out. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. Uh -huh. Talk, excuse me, talk no more exceedingly proud. Talk no more exceedingly proud. Brother, you full of pride. Slide over. Brother, you full of pride. We talking to you right now. Read. Read it again. Talk no more exceedingly proud. And you still talking. You still talking. Read. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. You let the Arab man fill you with pump, bro. And you full of arrogancy. Read. For the Lord God. Excuse me. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. 
and by him actions are way. Actions are way by the Most High God. And you out here worried about words. You out here worried about a language that the Lord God created. He created all these languages, my brother. He created Chinese, Japanese, Swahili, all these eases. God created all of them. And whatever one you know, we're going to bring it to your front door and teach you the Bible. Read that for me. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 18. Pride good before destruction. Pride what? Good before destruction. That's right. And the Lord don't make don't take it very lightly that you would come out here and confuse his people. Just trying to learn his truth about his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. About their true heritage, about their true nationality. So if destruction comes upon you, brother, we pray that it doesn't. We pray the most high gives you some more mercy to come up out of that curse. But if you don't, hey, you we deliver you to the Lord's hands. Read. And then Holy Spirit before a fall. All right, now what was that other scripture I wanted to hit? Acts 2? Yeah. Let's show you the other language. Brother, any, any doctrine, any lie that comes against the Bible is going to get destroyed. That's right. If you come up here to try to destroy, you're going to get destroyed. Right. You see what I'm saying? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.